Science. Are you afraid of sharks? It would be understandable. Sharks suffer from a bad image. They're often described as violent, bloodthirsty animals. But they are, in fact, much more fragile and friendly than one would think. The so-called stroking tank has become the main attraction at Monaco's Oceanographic Museum. Here, visitors can touch and stroke real sharks. The aim is to show that there's much more to the ocean's predators than what Hollywood thrillers would have us believe. First of all, there are many different kinds, from the striped cat sharks, pajama sharks, to the spotted dogfish. Some are indeed aggressive, but most are not a threat to mankind, quite the contrary. Sharks are fragile because they are the ultimate predator. They have no predators themselves. So, over the past 450 million years, they've become extremely good at hunting, but they're no good at self-defense. Most animals are able to reproduce rapidly. That's not the case of sharks, which only produce a few young during each spawning period. Also, sharks only reach sexual maturity after several years, sometimes 10 or 15 years. So, in fact, sharks are bad at being prey. Of the 500 shark species known to man, one quarter is threatened with extinction. Sharks, on the other hand, don't represent a big threat to humans. They're much less deadly than road accidents, mosquitoes or jellyfish. Less than 10 people are killed by sharks in the world each year, whereas crocodiles kill 2,000 people, snakes kill 100,000 people and mosquitoes kill 800,000 people. Now, if you turn the tables, humans kill 100 million sharks each year. In order to combat the shark's negative image, the museum is launching a new exhibition entitled On Sharks and Humanity, in collaboration with the non-profit organization WildAid. Bringing together the works of 10 contemporary Chinese artists, the show explores the complex relationship between man and shark. Of the 100 million sharks killed each year, 60 million end up in Asia in shark fin soup. <laughs> Our goal is not to have shark fishing banned, rather we want to ring the alarm bells. We're not here to prevent people from eating shark fins, but the level of consumption has become unreasonable and needs to be brought back under control. We mustn't destroy the shark's food chain. The global shark population is dropping dramatically. Personally, I'll no longer eat shark fins. Thanks to awareness campaigns like these, shark fin consumption has started to drop in China. As for the sharks, their eating habits seem rather reasonable in comparison. And what's more, they're essential for the good health of our oceans. Sharks are all the way at the top of the ocean's food chain and play a vital regulatory role. They eat sick animals and they keep our oceans healthy. If sharks were to disappear, the balance of marine life would come under threat and the seas would gradually fill up with algae and jellyfish. On Sharks and Humanity is on at the Oceanographic Museum in Monaco until March next year, before moving to Beijing in 2016.